if you're aiming to run the old Mutual 2 Oceans 21.1 km or 56 km, here are some tips to help you achieve your best on race day. Having a training program holds you accountable to consistent training and increases your chances of achieving your goals. Be realistic in how much time you have to train when planning the program so you can stick to it. The longest training run should be 3-4 to four weeks before race day and your taper should be about 2 weeks long. Decrease your running volume by 40-60% to 60 but maintain a similar intensity in training. Polarize your training to maximize performance, so about 80% of it should be at low to moderate intensity and 20% at a high intensity. The Old Mutual Two Oceans Marathon Race Route is unique with some significant hills, with two significant climbs in both the 21.1 km and the 56 km. Canterbury Drive and Southern Cross Drive in the 21.1 km, and Chapman's Peak and Constantia Neck in the 56 km. You should dedicate one session per week to hill training, and as race day gets closer, you should include hilly terrain in your long slow distance runs. An example of a hill training session is 4 by 4 minutes running uphill and walk or jog the downhill sections. Including one or two sessions of speed work per week in training improves your running speed and increases your ability to surge in races. An example of a high intensity speed session is 12 by 60 seconds at a rating of perceived exertion of 8 to 9 on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being flat out. Surround yourself with a supportive network to help improve your training, racing and happiness levels. Join your running club for weekly club runs, enjoy the camaraderie and building excitement for the most beautiful marathon in the world. To maximize your performance and decrease your risk of injury, find professionals to help you along your journey. Running coaches, biokineticists and massage therapists can all help you become a better runner. No one can think, eat and sleep running 24-7. Spend time with your family and friends to give yourself a mental break from running. Scheduled rest and relaxation will improve your athletic performances if planned properly. Nervous energy is high on race day, but it is imperative to stick to your race plan. You should have practiced your pacing strategy in your training. If you're unsure about pacing, stick to a pacing bus that aligns with your realistic goal time. Don't run the first half of your race too quickly. In the 56 km, the first half is very flat compared to the second half. You will need to conserve energy to tackle the hills in the second half. Practice using your gear and your race nutrition before race day. This will ensure it is second nature on the day of the race. Allow enough time to park and get to your starting badge. Relax, you have done months of training leading up to this day. You know how to run and race, so relax and let your body do what it knows. Enjoy and smile your way through the most beautiful marathon in the world. This Old Mutual Two Oceans Marathon training video was brought to you by the Sports Science Institute of South Africa.